The end came with an assault on the building by the Army's Special Air Services Regiment, the SAS, not long after gunmen had killed two hostages and pushed the body of one out onto the embassy steps. <laughs> Yo, what is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Zero Fox Drop video. If you're not familiar with my channel, we make uh, predominantly military piss takes of content. Recently, I've been talking about uh, news headlines and stuff to do with the military. If you're within the sort of forces circle, you've got any interest, you're a veteran, you're a supporter, you're a serving soldier, it's most likely got something to do with you and something that might interest you. So make sure you stay tuned, this is NAF News. But before we get on, firstly I've got my Patreon shout outs. If you want to support me on Patreon, the address is patreon.com forward slash zero foxtrot. Uh, the link should be in the description below. But without further ado, here they are. So on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the SAS, the Special Air Service, the British Armed Forces, um, elite special forces regiment uh, which predominantly uh, all the other nations uh, special forces are based on they base their selection on them the tactics um, sometimes even the kit and the equipment and the way that they do things in general uh, they are the one of the most elite special forces units in the world and uh, recently they've been in a little bit of trouble um, although we have seen them do a lot of good things in the public eye such as the Manchester terrorist attacks uh, after that, they were clearing out houses in Birmingham on the streets of the UK alongside CTSFO officers, um, and then no, terrorist attacks in London and so area, on. Um, um, and then the followed by there. the incident in Nairobi, which I did a video on uh, last week, week before. And it all comes down to a small Velcro patch. So, um, although there's a lot of the SAS uh, that is kept in secrecy, like no, no one talks about a lot of stuff because no one's in the circle, no one's in the SFSG support group. Uh, not, there's not a lot of people that talk about it from the Special Forces community. Only the guys like Ant Middleton, uh, Mark Billingham, uh, Phil Campion and stuff, they, they talk a little bit about their experiences and times in the SCS, but they leave a lot of details out. But one thing that has submerged from the Special Forces world is that after your first kill as a Special Forces operator, you tend to wear the Punisher patch, which looks like this. And you might be asking, you know, why are you in trouble for this? Why are they getting in shit for a small little patch? You know, at the end of the day, it's just to mark what they've done. It's to mark their first kill. Um, some people might see that as barbaric in the sort of PC uh, snowflake generation. But it's actually been described as a likeness to the, um, the Nazi SS skull, death skull symbol, which has been around for, for a long time. And a lot of people that um, affiliate themselves with Nazi culture and affiliate themselves and almost like supporters of Adolf Hitler and his campaign of the Third Reich and so on. Um, and that's why they're in trouble. They've been banned from wearing it. Uh, let me just read you this article from the Sun newspaper, for example. Okay, so this article is from the Sun newspaper, which is a, a British uh, tabloid newspaper. Um, and it's basically talking about the, the whole, how it unfolded. So the army chiefs have gone to the SES headquarters and they've gone and done a visit and uh, seen how things are going and talked to the guys and stuff like they do with a lot of different regiments. And, and these are, you know, top brass. These are, these are like the, the commanders and chief of the British Armed Forces. And, you know, quotes from uh, like, here we go. Uh, so a source from the SES G squadron. Every time a new guy comes in and gets a kill, he gets the badge. It's in recognition for the work he has done. The SES are professional killers, that's the job. So what if, so what if they wear a skull in a uniform? We have been told that it could be upsetting to other units, disrespectful to enemy forces, and could encourage war crimes uh, by some of the foreign troops the SES works with, such as the Afghans and Iraqis. Uh, the source added the order to remove it has gone down really, really badly, as although not everyone wore the badge, it is very popular amongst the members of G Squadron. Then they also went on to add, not a celebration of taking a life, but for putting himself in a position where his own life has been put at risk. And then finally, just that um, political correctness, nonsense and ludicrous. Um, it's one thing to castrate our recruitment process for the British Army 
and pump out all this PC bullshit that uh, seems to be surfacing over and over again. You know, the recent uh, recruitment campaigns, they've been fucking dreadful. It is another thing to start putting constraints on the most elite special forces unit in the world, or one of the most elite special forces units in the world. These guys are professional, highly professional, trained killers that do an extremely important and imperative job to the UK security. Um, so what if they wear a badge? It doesn't bother me. I've not heard of anybody ever get bothered by a badge like that. Um, what do you guys think? Smash it in the comments section below. Um, and that's all we're going to have time for today, really. I wanted to get this video out to you because I've been doing a, a lot of live streams and uh, I just wanted to get something solid out that you guys can watch and share. What do you guys think? Uh, me personally, fuck it. You know, it's, it's only a badge. It's not like uh, it, it doesn't even look like spot on to the, the to the SS badge. The uh, the Royal Lancers, who I was attached to for a number of years, um, have a much more fitting, far more easily recognisable badge alongside the SS badge. That looks <laughs> it looks exactly like it. Like, look, look at this. You don't see people kicking off about that. The QRL had it before. Uh, the knife off Royal Lancers then amalgamated with them and made uh, the Royal Lancers. And a cat badge still looks like this. Uh, and why uh, why has it not been a problem for them? So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, God bless, good luck, goodbye.